హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ బాబు వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అ సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టి హెడ్ అండ్ నెక్ సర్జన్ విత్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ బెంగళూరు a perceived delay in speech or a baby failing to speak like peers of his or her own age is definitely a concern for the parents so we should know when to worry about it and when to take a you know consultation with the doctor or the therapist for that matter and uh, you know sort out the problem at the earliest right uh, let us look at the development of the speech in a child newborn baby uh, starts hearing from the first moment it is born right Uh, though it doesn't make any sense to the baby the sounds keep uh, falling on to the ear and then it reaches the brain slowly as the brain matures it starts deciphering the sounds so it starts making sense of the sound so uh, the baby starts understanding what is being said or uh, you know what is being communicated right once that happens the baby responds to the sound stimulus right so the first 3 uh, to 4 months the baby uh, takes time in grasping the sound after that it starts imitating the speech develops by imitating the parents or the other uh, uh, you know relatives around who keep uh, you know vocalizing and speaking to the baby right first the, for that the baby has to hear the sound and then understand it and then reproduce it sensibly right the first 4 to 6 months of age the baby starts producing cooing or babbling sounds at least starts vocalizing that means the baby is able to recognize sounds and then reproduce it it can even um, re- recognize the mother's voice uh, or the voice that is frequently uh, uh, spoken to to the baby right by 6 to 9 months the baby is able to grasp uh, you know better sounds and it probably you know produce sounds like mama or baba um, you know gently and it 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 also tends to follow uh, single or simple commands like sit down or stand up come here these kind of commands the baby can understand and follow that means the baby is grasping the sounds and making sense of it uh, by 9 9 months 9 to 12 months we can say that the baby is able to uh, understand complicated sentences or two stage uh, sentences and then uh, produce one or two uh, you know uh, words uh, not uh, as a sentence but at least to try to make or coin a sentence in that process Uh, by 15 uh, months of age the baby should be able to make uh, uh, sim- simple sentences and uh, should be able to uh, you know understand complicated words or uh, complicated sentences to follow the orders uh, if by 2 years of age the baby is uh, still not being able to make uh, these kind of uh, you know at least two uh, two two word uh, sentences or sensible uh, speech then it is time to worry about it and uh, get to the uh, doctor's chamber as soon as possible what are the warning signs of a possible problem uh, first and foremost we should look for the baby's ability to hear if the baby is able to hear uh, like his peers at least comparable to uh, his own age uh, aged children nearby or uh, his uh, siblings then there should be a problem there if the baby tends to uh, go very close to the tv for example that means he or she is not hearing well that uh, he needs to go close to the tv to hear better so that is one of the warning signs that is most commonly seen in our uh, thing and if the baby is un- inattentive like when you are t- trying to call the baby for uh, some uh, reason and the baby is not responding to your uh, uh, calls con- consistently not just because the baby is uh, um, you know concentrating somewhere else and not uh, uh, you know listening to your voice uh even when the baby is not very uh, busy still he is he or she is not able to listen to your voice then there is some problem uh, when the baby is not hearing well obviously his speech will also be not developing very well the other uh, pointer we should look for is if the baby starts using gestures rather than uh, using words to uh, you know communicate like for example if the baby wants water if the baby just signs uh, with the thumb uh, towards the mouth then uh, you know it means that uh, the baby is having some problem in communicating we should uh, try to you know rectify that as early as possible uh, a baby which uh, you know watches intensely whatever is happening around him or her uh, but not uh, responding to voice stimulus or sound stimulus again should be checked for any problems in hearing a baby who doesn't uh, uh, you know uh, do a reflex action or a, uh, doesn't start crying when there is a loud noise around him like a door shut 
or a window uh, pan falling uh, should create a reaction a fear reaction in the baby immediately if that, that doesn't happen or a cracker you know bursting nearby and the baby is not uh, turning towards it then there is some uh, problem with the hearing right there are other issues which can also lead to uh, problem in speaking in spite of the baby hearing better like structural defects a tongue tie is most common of that where the tongue is not uh, uh, the baby is not able to lift the tongue up above the uh, ma- the floor of the mouth we should look for that and then get it corrected at the earliest so the the uh, speech can develop uh, comfortably and the most important thing that the parent can do is to keep talking to the baby right from birth so the baby is getting used to uh, the sound stimulus and then uh, starts making understand the brain also gets tuned to the sound stimulus and uh, you know the baby can develop speech at the earliest uh, and then do not encourage uh, gesture uh, uh, commands or gesture communication and demand the baby to speak at least one word like if the baby wants water the baby should be able to say at least water clearly to uh, get the water uh, for him to drink right if we encourage gestures and then uh, keep providing the uh, the work then obviously he doesn't have a need to speak and he will not uh, develop the language uh, fluently right that's about it